Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wake Up Report. And Justin Timberlake takes a selfie of himself at the voting booth, showing uh, that he is going to participate in the process and in the process. A lot of Justin Timberlake fans, you know, many young adults who uh, may have been on the fence about voting uh, or, or maybe decided they were not going to vote. Well, maybe they were inspired by Mr. Timberlake and says, you know, Justin Timberlake, as successful as he is, if he can get up and participate in the process, then I think I'll get up and I'll do it too. Katy Perry tours the uh, college campuses across the nation to inspire young people to get out and vote and as successful as Katy Perry is, if Katy Perry can get out and vote, those people may be inspired to get out and vote as well. And what do your dumbass black people do and the dumbass advice that they give you. Well, Mr. Nick Cannon cuts him a little Def Jam poetry uh, 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 piece about how he ain't gonna vote because he'll, uh, his cousin is still locked up because of Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton. Um, and then uh, Willie D tells you, well, maybe uh, we should withhold 15 million votes and that'll punish the Democratic Party. And then we got a couple of morons. One who says if you're over 40 and your vote is stupid, that vote is stupid anyway. Uh, the other one says if you're not rich and you vote Democrat, well, you're a dumbass. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about number one, why your people continuously lead you off of a cliff while everybody else encourages their people to participate in the process. And that is why you Negroes will always be the last hired and the first fired. But last show, I kind of ro roasted uh, Hillary Clinton about um, the appearance she made with Jay-Z, who cursed up a storm, all kinds of nigga this and nigga that, typical Jay-Z. Uh, at the same time, you're blasting Donald Trump for remarks that he made. I thought it was very hypocritical. And um, someone who uh, chimed in on the show uh, said, though I had a question, because as, as much as I roasted Hillary Clinton, I did say, well, that's my choice for president. I'm going to vote for Hillary Clinton. Well, how could you vote for Hillary Clinton? after the things that you said about her. And I am going to answer that because I thought that that was a excellent question, especially for people who are on the fence about voting or if you're going to vote for Donald Trump or Hillary, or, you know, whatever it is, as long as you participate. This is my um, uh, uh, reason for voting for Hillary Clinton. It's quite obvious. It's her qualifications, okay? Uh, Hillary Clinton, is, is no secret, is one of the most disliked politicians uh, in the United States. But that has nothing to do as far as her qualifications. You're talking about a first lady. You're talking about all the work that she did as a first lady. You're talking about her moving on to participate uh, as a senator, all the work she did there. And I believe she was elected twice as a senator. Then you're talking about uh, the work that she has done as secretary of state. So she has been around the world. She has dealt with all types of world leaders and politicians. She has been prepped to step into that role and run that job as efficiently as a person can possibly do versus Donald Trump, who has no zero political experience whatsoever. Donald Trump has never served, be that alderman, councilman, mayor, whatever it is. Donald Trump has not had the experience that is necessary to go around the world and deal with people on a worldwide basis, on a uh, uh, you know political level, social level, peacemaker level, bridge builder uh, level. Donald Trump has no experience. All Donald Trump is is rich, and everybody is responding to Donald Trump running and for president because he's rich, and that makes no sense. If Barack Obama had the same qualifications as Donald Trump and he was running for president, the Republicans would have a field day with this man. He has no political experience. He's never served public office in his life. How dare somebody like that run for office? Why is it okay for Donald Trump? And we know it wouldn't be okay for Barack Obama. If a, if a pilot didn't go to flight school, would you trust him to fly an airplane? If a doctor didn't go to medical school, would you let him cut you open and do heart surgery? There has to be a level of qualification and experience that goes with doing a particular job. I'm not saying Donald Trump cannot be president, but Donald Trump doesn't have the experience right now. Jesse the Body Ventura, governor, he served 
Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger, governor, he served. Clint Eastwood, a uh, mayor, he served. So you do have people who come from the celebrity world that can transition over to politics and do a good job. But that's the experience that they get from the job that they work as a politician. Donald Trump doesn't have that. Donald Trump has not even um, uh, uh, demonstrated himself to be a bridge builder. He f- started his campaign alienating Latinos, talking about building walls uh, to Mexico to keep drug dealers and drug pushers and rapists out of the United States. Never mind the fact Mr. Trump doesn't mind using Mexico to manufacture his clothing lines and paying people like, what, a dollar a day or something like that? So that kind of rhetoric, and you have seen throughout the course of his campaign, that type of rhetoric has done nothing more than alienate people. It's made people divisive. It's made people lash out. It's caused uh, violence and fights and all types of things. And Donald Trump, because he did not respond to a lot of those things, well, look at the people who were inspired by Donald Trump to get up and try to run for office. David Duke of the Ku Klux Klan and all kind of races. Look at what happened with the FBI, where you have people in the FBI trying to manipulate the process because they want Donald Trump to win. There's an agenda there that other people have that simply is not cohesive, consistent, and right about somebody trying to be president of the United States. So my reasons for voting for Hillary Clinton Uh, It's qualifications. She is the most qualified person right now to step into that position. So all of the stuff that people claim that, you know, emails and the Clinton Foundation and going all the way back to her husband's uh, indiscretions, that has nothing to do with what she is about doing as president. She made some bad choices, I think, in terms of, you know, who she uh, associates herself with. I thought the Jay-Z thing was an absolute disgrace, and I thought it was very hypocritical of her, but that does not bar her. Just like it do, it should not bar Donald Trump because he's talking about grabbing women by their vaginas and stuff like that. You know, that's how men talk when they talk about women. So all that was was just politics. But it was extremely hypocritical to uh, 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 criticize him for that. And she turns around and does the very same thing. Also, as a rich individual, Donald Trump has used every loophole imaginable This man has not paid his federal income taxes in 19 years. Do you imagine or can you imagine what would happen if Barack Obama was running for president and you found out that he had not paid his federal income taxes for 19 years? The Republicans would have jumped all over him to disgrace him. They say he was a tax cheat. He was a tax dodger. There's no way that a person who doesn't pay his income taxes should be allowed to run for president. Why is it okay for Donald Trump? Because he's rich, that he can use loopholes to avoid paying taxes? Well, people say, well, you know something? He's a businessman, and we need a businessman to help bring down the uh, deficit. Well, that's not necessarily true. Donald Trump has operated a lot of his businesses in the red, and although he has done well for himself in terms of his personal wealth, in terms of you talking about uh, uh, job creation for 320 million people or so in this country. So the way he runs his businesses is indicative of the fact that there's no way in the world he's going to be able to service 150 million of them when you talk about job creation. He has never one time told you explicitly and exactly what he plans to do when he becomes president because he has no plans. I personally don't think Donald Trump thought he was going to get this far. I really don't think he wants to be president. I think all of this is ego and he just refuses to back down. Uh, Another point, his own party doesn't want him to be president. So if your own party is not backing you and you cause all of that divisiveness and negativity from within your own party, what good are you going to be in the long run for everybody else? Could Donald Trump be president one day? Absolutely. If he puts the work in and gets the experience and the qualifications. But as of right now, he doesn't have that. What Donald Trump represents primarily is a good segment of the country's dissatisfaction with the political process and the politicians that are entrenched in Washington. And it's kind of like um, uh, uh, the Joker in The Dark Knight. Well, Batman uh, is, is running the criminals out of town, and they are so desperate to get rid of Batman that they turn to a lunatic somebody that they don't understand to try to get the job done and he makes things three times as worse. 
Now let's move on to Negroes and the dumb advice that they give. Nick Cannon, first of all, tells you that the process is fixed. And then he goes on and he does his little Def Jam poetry uh, piece, uh, uh, you know, about how he's pissed off at Bill and Hillary Clinton because his cousin is locked up. Well, sir, they're not responsible for your cousin being locked up. Your cousin is responsible for himself being locked up. If he wasn't a criminal, he would be in jail. So why don't you uh, do a, a poetry a rant about personal responsibility and consequences for your actions? Willie D says, well, let's withhold our 15 million votes, and that's going to punish the Democrats. No, it's not. If you withhold 15 million votes, then that means all of those people automatically voted for Donald Trump. And there are people who don't want you to vote because they know that's exactly exactly what will happen. So that ridiculous uh, assessment of what you can do with your voting power outside of voting makes absolutely no sense. And for the other two morons, one that says if you're over 40 and you're, you're stupid if you vote, the other one says if you're not rich and you vote Democrat, you're a dumbass. Well, sir, I'm assuming that you're not rich. So you've already labeled yourself a dumbass. And the other one, the other comment just defies uh, explanation. So we'll just move on. If you want to change what's going on with this country, if you don't like it to the point where you are that upset, then start another party or participate in the parties that are already here. But nothing is going to change uh, if you sit around with your conspiracy theories and your vote, the, the, the election is pre-rigged and all that other nonsense. Black people are so good at all these conspiracy theories that they can't prove and you seem to know everything about the process except how to get up and go participate. Don't let rich celebrities tell you that voting doesn't count because it doesn't affect them. It affects you. Don't let morons and idiots tell you how stupid voting is when so many black people died for black people today to have the right to vote. Barack Obama was supposed to usher in an era of change and nobody helped him with that change. You put everything on one man's back like he's supposed to be Superman and uh, black people are now pissed off because Barack Obama didn't give them a free car and a ticket to go get a bucket of chicken from KFC like Oprah did. No matter how slick looking the little poetry piece that Nick Cannon did, it was woefully ignorant, it was horribly irresponsible and you did more damage to young black kids who looked at that than you think. And for Willie D, no matter how calculated that your suggestion was, what you did was you pretty much signed your own death warrant because if you don't vote you don't count you have to make a choice when you vote and if it's between the lesser of two evils so be it but you have to choose who you think is going to lead this country responsibly and who is going to lead this country in a way that everybody benefits in some way shape or form the reason black people don't benefit is because we too lazy to get involved in the process if you can get up at four o'clock in the morning and stand outside in the blistering cold sometimes to get the latest pair of Air Jordans from Foot Locker. You should be able to get up, go down to a voting booth and take all of 10 minutes to cast the vote for somebody who is going to possibly affect what you can do with your life in this country. Get off your black asses and go vote. There is no excuse for it. If you don't like Hillary Clinton, vote for Donald Trump. If you don't like Donald Trump, vote for Hillary Clinton. But if you do not vote, you do not count. This is KTM and the Wake Up Report saying think a little bit. It will do wonders for you and vote on Tuesday. Tuesday.